So the long-term project LTZ1000 voltage reference and 10 volt buffer um, in a uh, battery powered ovenized enclosure is finally finally coming to an end and uh, the resistors I needed finally showed up for the buffer and uh, built that last week and put it together and seems to be working quite well so uh, a couple things that I did I used a um, uh, discrete NPN transistor as a amplifier um, to follow a uh, chopper amp uh, for the buffer and uh, that worked out really quite well um, it's uh, the outputs fairly uh, foolproof short circuit protected um, and uh, you can draw uh, put a pretty hefty load on it doesn't care uh, so I'll show some of that and here's the uh, reference uh, batteries in the back 10 amp hours of uh, battery will run the reference for uh, with the oven on for about three days a little power supply 20 volt power supply which I have feeding right now and uh, all I have to do to operate a battery is drop the power to it and it switches over automatically to battery so we'll plug it back in here and uh, <clears throat> so I'm currently measuring the output on my Keithley DMN7510 and uh, just some of the settings uh, have uh, some averaging going on uh, 10 uh, account averaging and uh, 5 PLC uh, just to slow down the readings otherwise it's uh, so rapid the last digit will just vary so rapidly you know plus or minus one digit it's, it's kind of hard to see so we'll go over to the graph and we'll clear the buffer and watch the graph here and I'm going to put um, what do I have this set for uh, one mega ohm so I'm going to put a one mega ohm load on it and we can watch our graph currently have the graph set for uh, one here we go one uh, microvolt per division uh, and it's 10 volts centered at 10 volts right now so here we go Let's pull back so you can see both there's connected to 10 mega ohm or 1 mega ohm load uh, unplug it and plug it in a few times see if we can see any change at all nothing doesn't budge okay so let's um let's go down to let's say 100 100k there's 100k Okay, so there's 100k ohm, and let's unplug it. We see it come up about two microvolts. Let me plug it back in. There, make this a little easier. Let's go here. So we can see it dropped about two microvolts. And if I unplug it, uh, about right there, ten. So it's a with a with a hundred k ohm load. I, f I found it does drop about two microvolts, which 0.2 ppm with a hundred k load. And you know, with the meters, uh, they're going to be set to ten gig ohm, or you know, preferably or worst case, ten mega ohm input. So. Uh, you know, even with a one mega ohm, you know, load, it uh, doesn't change at all. So, uh, some of the cool things, though, plug this back in. Let's put a load on this thing. Let's go down to 10k. Now, with a 10k load, obviously, it's going to pull down the voltage a little bit. So, it pulls it down here uh, about uh, 20 microvolts or uh, 2 ppm with a 10k load. Bye. Unplug it. Come right back. Now let's um, the output here. Since I'm using, let me grab my schematic. So I have the uh, 
this uh, discrete amplifier, um, it's it it's pretty well short circuit protected. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. Okay, and we're gonna short this out. Voltage goes to zero. Matter of fact, I'll even leave it there for a few seconds. And unplug it. Boom, 10 volts right there. Now if I speed up the readings here, let's take that off. Let's make this to one. Then go over here. Let's go enlarge that. Okay, so I'm gonna short it out. Zero volts and then back. Start it out, back. So you can see uh, oh, a couple microvolt overshoot and then comes right back to 10 volts. So that's kind of a nice feature.